Hello guys and welcome back to another industrial foregoing tutorial. And in this episode we will take a further look to the world transporter. And the world transporter is created by 4 redstone dust, 1 dropper, 2 hoppers, 1 pity machine frame and at least 1 ender pearl. And um, you can con configure the world transporter in the uh, in the mid by right, -click it, right clicking it. And you can uh, set up the input, uh, that's the input. And that's uh, the output of the uh, world transporter. And you can also set um, up uh, some white lists and black lists. If you right click the the outer um, angle of the um, of the, the transporter, and um, you can set up a white list and a black list and so on. And you can also install some um, add-ons, for example, a efficiency add-on like that or a speed add-on like that and so on and you can um, um, remove it like that and um, set it new and um, you can say that you want to uh, use this, these diamonds and to give it to the hopper like that and um, you can see that um, yeah, the world transporter is um, transporting and these items out of this chest into the uh, next field and I installed here a hopper or the next inventory for example and um, yeah that's um, that's what the world transporter is doing and you can also um, invert in this um, signal so that you can push in some items uh, with the world transporter like that you can see um, these uh, diamonds go straight into the, this chest but um, you, it, it is need to say that the world transporter is only working um, one block um, with one block distance so if you put in some diamonds like that like that like that you can see nothing happens um, we already have uh, 17 diamonds here and but if I um, Use it like that you can see that the uh, diamonds are transferred into the chest That's all to the world transporter. Thanks for watching and bye